Is it possible to teach entrepreneurship? Today with us, we have two of our MBA students that have decided to take up this challenge, and they're going to tell us what INSEAD taught them and what it didn't. Manisha and Khoekim, thank you very much for being with us here on INSEAD Knowledge. Our pleasure. Thank you. So, would you like to tell me a little bit more about this project that you've undertaken? It was something that started over the summer, pre-summer in fact, where we made the decision that we would go down this particular entrepreneurial route, um, picking a company that was already in existence, making an offer, buying it, turning it around, running it in a better way, um, as compared to what I suppose is traditionally perceived as entrepreneurship, where you've got to have a new idea and start from scratch. Um, we went through the course, we made a decision to take on a course called Realising Entrepreneurial Potential. Uh, we talked over the summer about exactly what we wanted out of the course, put together a shopping list of criteria that we were looking for in companies that we wished to buy. Um, we put together a team and we chose people, or rather people chose to work with us and we brought a team together who were determined to you know, put in the effort that it would take to take this to fruition. Um, we met corporate finance houses, brokers, uh, PE funds who were looking to maybe sell businesses, looked at many targets um, and identified this one in particular which, which came to us, ticked many boxes and decided to pursue it. Uh, worked very hard on a particular <clears throat> opportunity that was given to, to us through the course which was meeting investors and making a presentation for realising entrepreneurial potential and we came out of the other side with the investors who were ready to back us. So. We've negotiated since and we hope we're in a position soon to sign a deal. You said you saw several targets and you examined many, many companies. What made you decide to take this one specifically? I think in, in total we've looked at about 50 companies, uh, which is quite a lot. 15, I would say, made it to the shortlist. Uh, a shortlist that we put together based on investment criteria that we've uh, well defined up front, like uh, geographical uh, area as well as uh, the size, size sorry, of uh, the business. Obviously the business had to be large enough to support the two of us because we really decided to work as partners in this particular venture. I think this one ticked our boxes because it had offices in Brussels and the UK, which were geograph geographies that we were comfortable with and we were specifically looking into. Um, it had the requirement for a skill set that we were quite confident we could bring to the table on day one, typical MBA type sort of skill set, you know, um, putting the right processes in place, working with people, changing the way the company worked. Um, it had the right level of turnover, so, and it hadn't had a management in place for two years, so it was sort of craving for, you know, two people like us to bring in the energy and the ambition to change the way it functioned, mm -hmm. which is what we're looking forward to doing, hopefully soon. What made the two of you decide to take this adventure on together? Did you meet at NCAD? Did you take courses together? Was it? We did. We happened to be in the same class um, right from P1, which is the first period. Um, we talked about, I suppose we really worked together in uh, one of the entrepreneurial courses we took in P3 called New Business Ventures, where they talk about setting up a new company from scratch. We realized that we had the same sort of ambition and determination to go down this route, um, but I think we also had this sort of um, you know, bright spark moment where we just where we realize that you don't have to set up a company from scratch. You can actually look at a business and, mm. and buy it. So we talked about that quite a lot. We spent the summer putting our shopping list together, talked about criteria. Um, but I think it was in September that we said, you know, we've got to put a team together and, and do this seriously because we are going to find a business at the end of this and make it work for us. So yes, I think that during this MBV course, we, we both were very excited about entrepreneurship. For me, that was rather a confirmation of what I wanted to do. Uh, but at the same time, we realized that um, once these young startup uh, entrepreneurs start to sell their business, like after the four or five, four, uh, first four or five years, they sell on their business that we said, hey, hold on, maybe this is interesting. Now it's becoming really interesting. So gradually, I think we rolled in, into uh, the idea of, of buying uh, a, a business and growing it, taking it to the, to the next level. I think it's fair to say we also have complementary skill sets, and I think we realize that having spoken to each other about various subjects, I think uh, we think differently, and I think coming together and putting that together, we've seen the ability to be productive mm -hmm. over the last few months. I think. Um, I think it's fair to say Joachim's a bit, bit of an optimist and I'm slightly more conservative, so it works well when we look at targets. You know, he's, he's thinking of the future, the strategy, the vision of what we can do going forward. I'm looking at costs and, you know, sort of tightening management. And, so, and, it, and it works well with this particular target we're looking at as well. It requires exactly those combination of skills. How did INSEAD really prepare you for this challenge and uh, what courses and specifically did you take that were very helpful? One life-changing 
uh, event or event was really the boot camp, the entrepreneurial boot camp. Mm -hmm. The boot camp is a um, weekend uh, off-site, off-campus, where, in my case, about 50 people meet with the idea of um, generating ideas, new start startup ideas, really, and try to spin them out to develop them in the course of 48 hours with the objective of being ready to pitch them to real investors, real investors who came in from London, from Paris. Um, and that is amazing, the intensity you, uh, you experience, the, the number of ideas that we were able to generate in just two, three hours time is absolutely, is absolutely phenomenal. And so everybody woke up early in the morning, worked till uh, uh, two, three, four o'clock uh, at night, running through these business plans, marketing plans, financing, all possible aspects of, of entrepreneurship or at least of a startup. Uh, were covered during during that time period and uh, the amount of satisfaction you get out of it that that uh, five o'clock on Sunday afternoon is absolutely is absolutely amazing and I think for many people uh, that meant really a uh, confirmation of their entrepreneurship uh, uh, drive interest for some people also not quite the opposite happened I think that's that's a good thing too that you realize you're not an entrepreneur in my case, really, it made me look forward to, uh, to all the entrepreneurial courses and um, the way the curriculum is structured is, is very interesting in that way because it really starts with um, the idea, idea generation, and then building a business plan around it. And then in the second phase, as we explained, there is more the uh, route uh, you can take of acquiring a business. And um, uh, that's supported by courses like how to pitch to investors, how to put together your information memorandum, how to negotiate uh, acquisition finance with your banks. All of that is covered and it gives a real um, sense of, of, of empowerment. I felt very empowered really when, when talking to, to all these professional parties um, uh, and in such such a short time span it's it's actually incredible what you can realize uh, just driving on the energy of of uh, faculty definitely but also the students because i think the student body and the energy that is exchanged within the student group is is amazing um, i imagine you had your fair share of fair share of challenges over this past six months is there anything that you really weren't prepared for that surprised you that uh... i think the emotional I wouldn't call it trauma, but the emotions that run through, I mean, you, in specific with the acquisition, I suppose you mean, mm -hmm. um, would run through selling a business for the vendor, but equally buying a business for us. I think it, we talked about it at INSEAD and we had courses to prepare us for it, but going through it ourselves, we're experiencing, you know, it's pretty much a roller coaster ride because, you know, that, that three shareholders are selling their baby. And we are pinning our hopes on something we completely believe in, but we have to reach a deal that works for both of us. So we've had to go through a lot of negotiation and there's been a lot of up and down um, movement in that process. So I think that's, that's something that's been quite a challenge for me. Well, we wish you the very best of luck with this project that, you, that you're continuing. And uh, thank you very much for being with us here on NCAD Knowledge. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. My pleasure.